Hey everybody, Tim Albrecht here and welcome to this week's episode of the Ask a YFP CFP segment of the Your Financial Pharmacist podcast where we feature questions from you, the YFP community, to be answered by one of YFP Planning's fee-only certified financial planners. Before we jump into today's question, I want to give a shout out to YFP Planning's incredible team that makes this segment possible. YFP Planning offers fee-only comprehensive financial planning services that are customized to the pharmacy professional. So whether you want to optimize your investing plan, pay off student loans, or simply build a solid financial plan, YFP Planning will help get your income working for you rather than the other way around. You can learn more and book a free discovery call by visiting yfpplanning.com. Again, that's yfpplanning.com. All right, before we get into today's question, as many of the listeners know, this is typically Ask a YFP CFP. We're going to flip the script this week. This is Ask a YFP CPA as we have a tax-related question, and we wanted to have a chance to put that question forward to our relatively new Director of Tax and CPA, Sean Richards. You're going to be hearing much more from Sean on the podcast, on the blog, on this segment as well, and uh, we had an opportunity to bring Sean in and answer the question that we have this week. So here's the question, Sean. My question today is concerning cashing out sick time or vacation days, an option that my employer offers for either unused days or for somebody who might want some additional cash. Is there a difference with regards to taxes and getting the extra hours added into a regular check or getting it put on a separate paycheck? As a side note, some of my coworkers believe it's beneficial related to taxes to have the money put on a separate check, but I'm having a hard time understanding how it would make any difference. In the end, doesn't it work out to be the same? Sean, what are your thoughts? Thanks for having me, Tim. I'm happy to be here. I hope I can um, be a regular feature on the podcast and I'm looking forward to being part of the company. But yeah, this is an interesting question. So um, I like the, the the coworkers jumping in with their suggestions on having the uh, hours be on a separate paycheck and, and that being more beneficial. I, I actually would potentially argue that that might be less beneficial, hmm. which we can get into in a minute. When I look at this question, the bigger piece that I have is not so much whether the hours are in the same paycheck or in a separate paycheck, but whether you actually have the option to cash in those hours now versus at a later date. The IRS has this concept called constructive receipt. And what they're basically saying is whether you have cash in your hand and you're getting a paycheck or whether you can go out and get that cash at any time, the IRS is saying, well, in our mind, you you have it. So we want to get our taxes, right? <laughs> so if at any given point in time, you're accruing hours and your company gives you the option to go and say, all right, I accrued eight hours last week. I want to take the cash for those eight hours right now. Generally speaking, those hours will be taxed as you're accruing them, just like your regular paychecks. You have your regular withholdings and you'll probably see that on your paycheck mm-hmm. as those hours are being accrued. Now, on the flip side, if your company gives you a one-time or maybe like a twice a year option to cash out a lump sum, that generally will be on a separate paycheck. And even if it's not, the IRS usually considers that to be called supplemental pay. And supplemental pay for most folks, you're, you're more familiar with this with bonuses at the end of the year, mm-hmm. where you're expecting to get a $10,000 bonus and you look and what you actually get at the end of the day is about half of that, right? So supplemental wages are taxed at a flat 22%. And when vacation pay is a a lump sum, like a separate thing on top of your your regular kind of day-to-day paycheck, the IRS considers it to be in that supplemental wage category and hitting that 22% tax rate. So your coworkers might've had it backwards in this case, because that's usually when you see it on a separate paycheck and it's usually being taxed at a higher rate. So yeah, I mean, my ultimate answer to this is it really depends less so on where you, you're seeing those hours and what paycheck you're seeing them on, and more so when you actually have the ability to mm-hmm. go in and cash out those hours. Well, Tim Baker would be so proud, Sean, on your debut on the podcast, you threw out an It Depends, uh, which, which is, of course, what our audience knows well, uh, something we hear often from, from Tim Baker. But it r- really does, you know, when it comes to money aspects of the financial plan, many aspects of the tax plan. It really does depend on one's personal situation. So great stuff, Sean. And we'd love to keep the tax questions coming. So periodically, if we need to flip the script from Ask a YFP CFP to Ask a YFP CPA, we will do that. So you can send us your questions by visiting yourfinancialpharmacist.com forward slash Ask YFP. You can record their question that way, or you can send us an email at info at yourfinancialpharmacist.com. Before we wrap up today's segment of the podcast, an important reminder that the content 
in the podcast is provided for informational purposes only and should not be relied on for investment or any other advice. Information on the podcast and corresponding materials should not be construed as a solicitation or offer to buy or sell any investment or related financial products. For more information on this, you can visit yourfinancialpharmacist.com forward slash disclaimer. Thanks so much for listening and have a great rest of your week.